Welcome, welcome Pisces. Welcome to Kiki's Doorway. Well, I should say, welcome. I'm Kiki, and this is our doorway. Let's see what your soulmate and you will have in store for November 27th to December 4th, 2018. What actions will be taking place emotionally, energetically? Okay. Pisces. Yes. Water. Masculine Pisces, in your past life, you were the engineer, the engine, engineer of the engine that unified the people, engine that unified the people and their traditions, people and traditions. The engine that unified people and traditions. Masculine. Pisces. That would make sense to be the engine. If you, since you are the sailor of the sea, you are the water. Like the Atlanteans, which were the civilizations of the water. Crystals were the solar were the sun. That was how we learned about energy. Even rocks and erosions, how seeing the crystals or the different shinings of the shape help generate source or a reflection. I wonder why in certain pyramids, how certain minerals or certain elements had a particular gold or particular mineral that shone the light to be a reflection to all. Being the engine will require you to be an engineer. It's like knowing the human body. You being the engine was like the heart, our very intestines of learning how, even like the inside of our body is the engine how making our environment be that very reflection. Masculine Pisces, in your present life, you're seeing how you are once more an engine and that engineer to connect people and their traditions together, connecting people and their techniques together, connecting people and technology together, and seeing how that can be used as a beacon or one one of few ways to yield or youth something about this why engineering to be an engineer for people and traditions, people and tra technology. Why be an engineer? If we didn't have an engineer, then we would not know how to live in different changes of our environment. An engineer knows and looks at their environment and then matches based on the environment how to build a culture, a culture or civilization the right way for the people. This is what you're figuring out in your present life, masculine Pisces. 
female Pisces. In your past life, you experienced that wars and battles happen when we do not understand what makes the engine, what makes the core value. We have two parties that are fighting and they have a reason to fight, yes. However, if, if it was no other way, then this picture would have been different. We would have seen this more and not a standstill. Meaning, yes, both parties know that they have a purpose, they have a reason to fight. But yet they know also it has to be another solution, it has to be another way where we can both agree. If we don't, both these two generals can look behind each other right in front of each other and see what is going on. Both parties are dying. Yet, <laughs> you're still going to have two generals. And that hurts to know that an action requires fighting, but did it have to come to that? Because both parties are not winning. Both sides are being killed. Yet it's always going to be a general that has to take the next action. This is what you learned in your past life. So in your present, Miss Pisces, you're learning like you're masculine in his past life. You are an engine for people. Just like these two generals. They are an engine for their people. And just like a general or a chief, you can reorchestrate the direction in which Wars and battles or conflicts can change. Just like being a sailor of the sea, you know how the wind can take the waters and how to go with the tides and how to go against the tides and still be safe. So, you know how to handle conflict, Miss Pisces. This is the time to show how you know how to handle conflicts. You are the mediator. This is why people come to you. And now you're seeing how, if you ever experience problems, how to be your own mediator for yourself. Hmm. So many. Your past life. You experienced what it means to leave. When we leave, it doesn't always have to be sad. Sometimes it is. But is it? For example, if you had to be an engineer for another town, then you had to leave. So yes, you will feel homesick and leaving because you're going to a new environment that you would have to help. Yet when you get to that destination and you realize how much your engineer or your expertise is needed, you start to see that traveling was not bad at all. It's just the motions of going to a new environment that feels not this strange, but it makes us feel kind of sad. It's like, are we leaving behind the very environment that made us this engineer? No. It's like you're expanding who you are to the next town over and the next town over. So when you get back home, it's like um, home welcoming. Now you have stories to tell. Now you have places that you have traveled and postcards that you have gotten along the way. So when you thought people did not remember you oh they're mailing you letters sending you postcards to let you know how much they love and appreciate what you're doing so in your present 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 life soulmate you're seeing that leaving yes can be sad yet it's only because we don't know the next journey and you're seeing that 
it is an honor to even have the opportunity to leave or to travel. To leave means people are needing your service or needing you. To travel, that means that you have a place to go where who you are is accepted and needed. <laughs> you are an engineer as well. Masculine Pisces, how you will be flowing. Masculine, feminine, soulmate, how will you be flowing this week emotionally and energetically with the knowledge of your past as your present? Pisces, you're becoming that foundation. Now that you know that you are an engineer, that you are the engine for not just yourself, but for people, for people around you, you bring out the youth in them. You bring out forever young. I want to be forever young. It's like Peter Pan. But again, you're seeing that being youthful is wonderful. Does not mean that you have to be young in the way you move. You're seeing that your energy is of youth. You're very vibrant. You're very youthful. People, young people come to you. People of all ages come to you because you ignite that engine within them. And you're seeing that you are your four foundation. You are your own groundiness. You're realizing that who you are is that drive, is that passion for who and how you want to walk in this life. And the way you're going to be moving is you're going to see that contentment, peace, and abundance is always with you. A happy home life is approaching or a happy home life is how you're going to be making those changes, making that caterance too. You're going to be caring more about your home life. You're going to be nurturing and catering to the people in your home, masculine Pisces. You're going to be caring about the people in your home. You're going to be seeing that from you caring about the people in your home, masculine Pisces, will reveal to you why you are the engine for yourself and others. And the successful completion of a project is near. Female Pisces, you're going into the ninth house. So yes, you know how to go forward in the way you want to take charge and how to demonstrate what does it mean to be a mediator in your life. What does it mean to be your own diplomat for yourself. It's like before we became a mediator for our friends, we had to practice in our house. Before we became understanding of someone else, we had to physically go through something similar to understand how to help another. Female Pisces, that's what you're realizing about who you are. So, the more you go within, the more you find out how you are a mediator, how you are a diplomat for others and yourself, how you are very intuitive and very psychic on how you handle things, even in your present life, spending time in quiet meditation will be your luxury. It will be like your oasis. The more time you spend with yourself, the more time you spend with people that make you feel at peace and at centered, the more you'll start to reveal who you are as a spiritual teacher to yourself. And you're realizing in order to have been that mediator in your past life to stop wars and battles, in your present, you're seeing how you went within to find those answers. So in your present life, you're seeing that self-discovery has always been how you evolved, Miss Pisces. And as you're seeing that, you are holding your light. You're holding the light of who you are to yourself. You're becoming that angel that you know you are. You are very wise and very sorcery. <laughs> and you know how to create a universe in your present. Soulmates. Hmm. As your masculine counterpart, 
realize that they are an engine for themselves. But in order to be an engine for themselves, they had to realize that catering and nurturing the people that are close to them makes them more ignited as their own engine. And seeing through Miss Pisces that knowing that they hold the key to being that diplomat, that angel for themselves and others. Now, soulmate, you can branch out and become that star. You have went in within the eighth house, using your identity, seeing your self-worth, seeing how you communicate and how your communication has connected you to other people, how nurturing yourself through the Cancerian house and cultivating and being that cultivator in your own environment and then around you, seeing how your willpower has always been there to make those changes and how you become that engine in your life. Seeing how being the sixth house of how you give to yourself and how you receive from giving to yourself has made you a very librarian of your emotions, of that Libra house, of the seventh house. And from that, that took you to be the Akashi Records, going into the library of your in, inward consciousness to bring out that leaving and traveling reveals to you, you before it reveals to the people you are traveling to that you are a star to begin with. To be a star, when someone want to call a star? Yes. Human beings, we all look up at the stars and call on it. And to have it in the human form is amazing. And you are that soulmate. You're seeing that happy times is approaching you. And you're making those positive changes. You're making optimistic long-term plans every second. And you're seeing that you are on the right path. You recognize that in your past life. And you're seeing that as your present for your present life. So we meet again, masculine, female, Pisces. So we meet again, soulmate, Trinity. Know that you three are walking in who you are as an individual. You're recognizing that you are an engine. You're recognizing as an engine, you would have to know every part of who you are to be that engine. And you're seeing that knowing who you are, the parts that make you, is unique, is a star. We can't put any engine into any car, can we? I can't put a Honda engine into a Toyota. I don't know. I have friends that are mechanics. I would have to ask them. But it's like a heart. Heart transplant. You would have to make sure that heart, that blood type matches with that next body. So you're seeing that you are one of a kind. And that others are receiving that about you. So go forth. See where it takes you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Masculine, feminine, Pisces, soulmate. We will see you on the other side.